Hey guys, welcome back to Art Squirrel. You already know that, the <laughs> And today it's going to be a very interesting day, and you never know that it's very interesting. Today is gonna be very weird and interesting. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and yeah, you know why it's interesting? It's very, 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 very weird. And I came up with this idea when I was playing with my new brush. And I was making a pigment for my slimes. And um, I grabbed my brush, take a water, and then dip my brush into a pigment. My homemade pigment for my slime. And then when I put it on the paper, I was like, what? It, worked, it works like a watercolor. Yeah. So that's very interesting and weird. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my own paint. <sighs> okay, I'm going to show you a sample. This is what it looks like. So yeah, when you open it up, it's a pigment. And this one is the color baby blue, but... Yeah, it's baby blue in the look, but when you put it on the paper, it's not baby blue. It's, it's just blue. And this one is such a beautiful color. You know that I love blue because, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. I just love it, and it leaves a very dirty stain over your hands. Let's just get started by the video because it's already two minutes and I've been only talking for the intro. Yeah, yeah I'm a weirdo. Okay, guys, we are here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I make my own paint, which sounds very... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Which sounds very weird. So, the, so the materials you need are... A cornstarch. What else do you need? Um, empty container. I don't know if that what what that is. Um, next you need a so many bugs. So whatever spoon. And then you the last thing you need is a food dye. You need a food dye. Wow. So this is the things you need. Um, I know it sounds very, very weird. So, you might be thinking, Jael, you can't mix a food dye in a cornstarch. Yeah, I know that. But we are going to be doing different than that. So, let's get started. <laughs> I think this video is kind of pointless now. So the first thing you want to do is grab your cornstarch. You're going to open the container, obviously. <laughs> You're going to grab your beautiful spoon. I'm using a dirty spatula. Well, and we're going to take a little bit of some cornstarch. Make sure you're using cornstarch. When you're done with that, you should have something like this. I know it's so weird and all, but um, it's not going to be weird when you are going to test it in a paper. So yeah, we're going to set the cornstarch aside. And now you're going to... So the color I'm going to be making is purple. If you don't have purple on a food dye, like directly, you can just grab a, or maybe you can just grab a, maybe you can just buy a violet food dye, or if you don't, if you don't want to buy it because, you know, it's a lot of money, you can just mix it with 
red and blue. Ugh, okay. And I don't really want to mix and I already have a purple food dye but not in this type of food dye so I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to use a direct purple food dye. So where was it? There it is. I found it. Here is my purple feet. <laughs> purple food food dye. Okay. I don't know why I can't pronounce. And you're just gonna gently pour that. Just a little bit of that. Make sure you don't stain your hands. It happens all the time and I hate it. Maybe you can just put it back where it belongs. Don't just display it because it's gonna ruin your hands and that's not fun. <laughs> and you're gonna grab your spatula to cover that uh, food dye you just put. And then you just, oh no, it's turning a little bit like oob like now. Oh no, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> what? Okay, now you're gonna start. Okay, I hate when that happens. Let's just ignore that. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> You're just going to smush the um, food coloring part. When you have all of that mixed up and you can see a little bit, a tint of purple in there, like some of that. Um, don't worry about that, that's the goal. And make sure you like, you, you, you said that Oh, this this cornstarch does this cornstarch doesn't look purple. You gotta add more food dye until it looks purple. And as I said, that uh, you can't mix a food dye with cornstarch, so you're just gonna need to set it like that. And your paint is ready. <laughs> it's a pigment paint. My homemade pigment paint. I don't know if this works out for you guys. Comment down below if it works out for you guys. Oh, there's still a crunch. If you see big blobs of food coloring, you can just smudge that. And if you won't, don't worry about it. It just, nothing happens. Okay guys, I'm done with all of that. Now you are ready to use this. I know it looks very nothing like a paint and it's a pigment paint, okay? Trust me guys, this works. Okay. So guys, it ended up being like the whole paper because I'm gonna do the whole swatches of all my different other colors. I forgot to close this. So, here's are all my different other colors. Wow, it's a different container. Well, all these containers are lost now. <laughs> so we have a green paint pigment, red paint pigment, orange paint pigment, and a yellow paint pigment. This is what I start with, and there's already a very big stuff in there. And I gotta crush that. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty. This container is pretty cute. <laughs> and I also made a, another few colors, but they wouldn't fit in the bag. And I made them like four hours ago. <laughs> no. Five hours ago. <laughs> and we have greenish brown. I don't know why I did that. I mean greenish red to make it look like brown, but it looks. I overboard with the green, so it looks probably it probably looks like green now. And we have a blue right over here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a brush. I'm using this brush and paint. We're gonna use the paint that we made. Ouch! That hurt me. Get my hands over here. And we're just, we're gonna dip our hands, <laughs> not hands, our brush in a water. Forgot you're gonna need water in this. And you're gonna dip your, uh, trying to get there. 
And yeah, when you're done with that, you're going to press you're going to press it like this. And you can see uh, the cornstarch and the food kind trying to fit in the brush. That is so cool. I don't know if it's cool or disgusting to you guys. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of mess. So let's try the swatch now. Three, two, one. Oh my. Wow. This is what it looks like, guys. And you're, while you're painting, you need a lot of water, by the way. See, it's really nice. Wow. It's not really that of a deep color because I didn't add that much food coloring. And like I said, don't overboard with the food coloring. Wait, did I say that earlier? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. This is what the purple looks like. I don't know if you can see that properly. Let me just add a little bit more. There we go. That looks purely beautiful and you're gonna have fun painting. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna have fun. You're probably gonna have some big problems with these paints. It doesn't really act like a paint. I mean, it acts like a watercolor. I don't know if you even gonna try this out. <laughs> I know you're not gonna. So yeah, this video is kind of. This is this is a point. I'm, I'm, wait, what? <laughs> this doesn't really make sense. Wait, does it? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's try the different color. Next, we have the orange paint. Look at that, guys. That's so pigmented. I need to try it. Three, two, one. Oh my. If it dries, you cannot activate it again. But yeah, if it dries, it sucks a little bit of a paint there. But you can still get a little bit of that color. But it's a little pale. Because you use water, obviously. <laughs> and also, it doesn't really work because it's a dye. But, yeah, I hope you understand. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna try different colors now. Here's the red. Here's the blue. Oh my, it has a little bit of red from my brush in this. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, it's still wrapped in blue. I know this is gonna look nice, but I just need a lot of water because it's already dry in the paper now. Here's the green, my favorite color, AKA my favorite color. And the thing about this guys is that you need to mix it in, which is really hard. Because it's really, really hard to like boom, boom, boom. I said hard again. And I said it again. Okay, wow. As you can see, this is really pigmented by the cornstarch. The cornstarch is none. It doesn't look like a cornstarch anymore. It looks like an actual pigment paint. Because it's like already very pigmented oh my gosh i just grab a big crutch i mean crust because it was staying there oh my i don't know these paints are going to change i don't know why i'm covering the whole paper up but it's just very satisfying wow yours like an actual watercolor oh no it just did a big blob but you might need to be careful because it's gonna like do that. It's gonna explode into a big blob when you put it into paper. So let me make a quick galaxy real quick. It looks like a green galaxy. Does it even? 
I don't know, but you need to let it dry. So guys, that was the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to. Do not forget to smash that like button. Don't forget. Don't even think about forgetting. And also, don't forget to smash that like button and <laughs> and also don't forget to smash that notification so you're the first person on earth <laughs> to know I posted a new video yeah very 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 action weird but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all next video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!